Doamnelor și domnilor, însă mergem la ceea ce este ultima criză din Europa, ultima criză ce lovește continentul nostru. Așa cum vă spuneam la începutul emisiunii, e vorba de modul în care imigranții au trecut din Africa în Spania. Cel puțin 6.000 de imigranți ilegali au pătruns în ultimele 24 de ore, un număr record pentru o singură zi potrivit Spaniei. Între ei sunt circa 1.500 de minori. Imigranții vin fie în not și sar apoi gardurile de la graniță, fie pur și simplu vin pe jos când marea este la reflux. Doamnelor și domnilor, imagini cu momentul în care armata intervine, imagini cu această criză pe care cred că în momentul de față trebuie să o privim în față. Nu doar Spania va fi afectată, ci întreaga Europa. Imaginile de la CNN chiar acum. Spain has a crisis on its hands on the shores of North Africa. It's been turning back thousands of migrants who swam to the Spanish territory of Thuta from a Moroccan beach nearby. In the past two days, some 6,000 migrants have come ashore, including children and even babies. Let's bring in journalist Al Goodman from Madrid. What do you know of the details, Al? Becky, well, the Spanish Prime Minister has just arrived in Ceuta. Uh, he's received a somewhat uh, a cool reception from some of the people there who are uh, say this is unprecedented. This number of migrants coming in from Morocco in just basically a 24-hour period. They came in from two beaches. Uh, Ceuta, of course, is on the north coast of uh, of Morocco, and so they came. They they swam out along these breakwaters a short distance, according to officials, and then came back down the other side, and they were on Spanish soil. And this came as a giant surprise. So now the Spanish government says that about 6,000 migrants have come in in just the past 24 hours. Um, uh, they say that they've returned almost half of them, about 2,700, to Morocco, but not apparently the miners. About 1,500 of the 6,000, one-fourth, were miners. So Spain is scrambling. The Spanish prime minister was supposed to be in Paris today. He canceled that. He rushed right down to Ceuta. He's also going to go on to Spain's other enclave on the north uh, coast of Morocco, Melilla a little bit later, but clearly officials seem to be scrambling to try to put this crisis to an end. Uh, European Union leaders have backed, uh, given support to Spain, uh, saying that there needs to be a deal on migration. Uh, many uh, analysts here in Madrid and in Spain think this would have been uh, impossible to have occurred without the uh, Moroccan government um, either giving its acquiescence or looking the other way, but Spanish government has said nothing like that publicly.